Mind hack number eight. A thought doesn't know a thing. Before you click off this video and think I'm crazy, let's do the self-experiment. If it doesn't work, so be it. Does the thought dog know of what I just said? Is it what's aware of this conversation? No, right? The thought dog isn't aware of the thought cat. It isn't aware of another image in the mind. It's awareness that is aware, right? And you are awareness. You are not the thought. You are not a thinking, the stream of thought. We give that stream of thought, this repetitive thought, a self. And then since we identify with the body and we identify with our voice, of course, we give it the sound of our voice. So when we think, we sound like ourself. But let's do this experiment. Sing your favorite song in your head, but as the lead singer. Change the voice in your head to the lead singer. You can do that, right? You can change the thinking, the sound of the voice in your head to whatever you want it to be. And when it comes to thinking, you just make it sound like yourself because you identify with your body and the sound of your own voice, this localization of awareness, which is the whole, and you are the whole. Awareness itself is where a thought arises, is where knowing arises. A thought itself doesn't know a thing. This is very significant to understand because in that you recognize how there is no thinker. There's not a self in the sense thinking. Awareness itself is selfless like how a flame is selfless. If I light a candle in the night, is that flame the same flame in the morning? No. It's selfless yet a continuum. A continuum yet no self. That's how a flame operates and that's like the flame of awareness, this whole there isn't necessarily a self specifically anywhere in it in that way. Thought is arising in awareness and crashes back into awareness. Like how an image on a TV screen would arise on the TV screen and crash back into the TV screen. The TV screen and the image not being two. They're non-dual. Just like awareness and a thought where the, image in the images in the mind are not two. They're non-dual. Everything is arising in awareness. That's confusing because you might say, well, the table doesn't seem to be aware. It doesn't seem to be consciousness. But we just recognize how a thought itself arises in awareness. It is made of awareness, of consciousness, whatever you want to call it. Yet it doesn't have the qualities of being aware. So who's to say that the table, the chair, the tree isn't aware, isn't made of awareness? just doesn't happen to be aware in the way that you think or made of awareness in the way that you think.